everyone, Lane here from Maker's Lane. So in a previous video, uh, where I'm standing now used to stand a garage. For the most part, I've gotten that teared down, organized, and uh, I, I used a lot of the wood and uh, roofing to actually put up it as walls in my barn. However, obviously I'm not completely done. There's still a wall standing. There's still a bunch of, of a slab still here. Uh, so there's a couple things I still need to do. So at first I was gonna use just a sledgehammer to try and break this all up. And although I could do that, and it's a very workable method, um, it's a lot of uh, time and effort that I don't necessarily want to take. I was hoping I'd be able to find another way to uh, make this process a little bit uh, quicker. And thankfully, my friends at Banggood sent me this guy. It is a electric power jackhammer. It runs about uh, between, I think, 180 and like $200, I think is what it is right now. I, I'll have a, it'll be in the, the link below. So basically I'm gonna use uh, the sledgehammer and this guy in tandem to basically break the rest of this down, just so that I can get a flat surface. Eventually I am gonna put a garage here. I haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do it, but I do know that I need to basically break this all down and get it to a roughly level surface so that I can build it up. One of the big reasons that we actually tore this garage down, as far as the structure itself, other than the rear part, it was perfectly fine. Didn't really have any like rod or anything like that. There were, the wood was actually really good in it. The only part was this back part is caving in. And so that's why we actually have to tear it down. So I'm actually using all of this cinder block and everything to fill in that hole. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out and unbox it and look at what it comes with. And then once we're done with that, we can get started on breaking everything down. Now, I mean, it's gotta be really simple. I'm just breaking these walls down and not all the concrete has to go, but anything that's, anything in the back here that's, that's kind of tapered down or that has a big crack in it and it's sagging, I'm basically gonna try and break all that up um, so that when I do pour a new cement pad, if I pour it here, um, I have something that's a little bit more structurally sound. So let's go ahead and get started by unboxing this and then we can get into breaking stuff up. Shout out to Chuck for sponsoring today's uh, knife. Thanks, Chuck. Okay, that's pretty cool. Has wheels. Well, if nothing else, they sold me on the case. Put this away before I hurt myself. Comes with two attachments, one pointy and one flat pointy. All right, well that was a pretty easy unboxing. <clears throat> so what you see here is what you get. I feel like I have like a mini gap down here. I wonder if you can, oh, you can rotate. All right, with a handle like this, you know what we have to do. Say hello to my little friend. Ah! All right, we're good. All right, let's get started. All right, uh, so as I kind of anticipated, this back part here is super thick. It's like 10 inches thick. So it's, it's, it's a pretty, a pretty thick slab back here thankfully it tapers off pretty quickly all of the cinder block it came up super easy it wasn't hard at all I just basically tapped it with a sledgehammer and it just kind of fell apart so that part was easy this part's gonna be a little bit more difficult that's why I'm gonna use this jackhammer the plan is so you can kind of see there's a crack right here and it goes all the way across to like right there so everything back I'm gonna tear down and try and get it kind of kind of sloped down. It's not gonna be perfect, uh, but I'm gonna cover it up with dirt. But yeah, so I'm gonna use a sledgehammer, break this all up. There's like some stairs over there. Basically, it's just gotta be flattened out as best I can. So yeah, let's get to the part that you guys were actually waiting for, the review of this. Um, I'm curious to see that thick end, whether or not this has the power to actually break through that. I'm pretty certain it's gonna be able to break through this thinner stuff through here but that back thick part, that's where I really wanna know if, if it's gonna be capable of doing it. So yeah, let's get to that. All 
Okay, so I got the spade bit in. All you do is you kind of like pop this little clip in. It's, it's pretty simple, not much to it. And you hit the handle, it goes. Uh, so if you're doing this, it'd be really beneficial if you wore some uh, safety glasses and some hair protection. Uh, I looked and because my shop's not really a shop yet, uh, I can't find it anywhere. So I'm gonna do this. Please don't yell at me, this is unsafe. Don't do this at home. Please don't yell at me. Okay, let's go. All right, so that was like maybe a minute of jackhammering. I just kind of wanted to see what it did. I really didn't have a plan. And now that I think about it, I really should have uh, like started off like close to the edge here so I could like break a chunk off. But like, that's what I did after a minute. It's like a good like two inch hole. I mean, I have to say that's, that's pretty impressive for like only jackhammering for a minute. So I'm just gonna like go at it. I'm, I'm almost positive that I'm gonna be able to break through this, this thick, the thick part of the slab. I'm gonna start on like one of the corners and just kind of like try and break a corner piece off. This is really easy and simple for, for the price point that it's at. Like I expected this thing to be like a lot more chintzy, but it's, I mean, it's solid. Like that's metal, that's plastic, but like all this is metal. This end is metal. Like that's pretty nice. It's got this nice clip thing that you pull and you twist and I mean, that's, that's pretty nice. I honestly really didn't expect that, but uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, okay, so let's just go and uh, start jackhammering. Okay, sorry I had to come in here. It was starting to get really windy outside. All right, so I've used this guy for roughly six hours-ish, on and off. It's been snowing a lot around here lately, so so I had to wait for a time when it, you know, stopped snowing and kind of was nice out, so. So unfortunately, I had to stop. Uh, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to as far as the concrete goes. It had nothing to do with this guy. It just had to do with the fact that there was rebar in the cement pad that I was working on. I did not anticipate that. It's typical for cement pads to have that in there, but because of how it cracked and everything and how it was falling down, I kind of thought that uh, there wasn't anything in there and I thought that's why it was cracking. But no, uh, there were rebar pieces. Not to mention it was like 12 inches thick at one point. This guy did an amazing job. Uh, it took me five to six hours to get the little bit done that I got done. However, it wasn't due, how do I put this? Um, this tool is great for smaller projects where you're, you know, you're just breaking up a little bit of concrete. There was actually a part that was like four inches-ish and this thing went through it in about three minutes. It like didn't take any time at all. 
here it is actually going through it and as you can see it didn't take any time at all it just kind of just burned right through it this is times four speed the only reason I'm doing that is so you don't get tired of watching but it, it was it was really good for that do I think this is like an industrial strength jackhammer by no means but it's great for like DIY projects if you have something that you just need to break up or you know you're doing a bunch of projects where you're gonna break something up at the time of releasing this video they're actually running a discount I couldn't tell you what the price is actually because it just depends on your area and where you get it from. But as far as a buy, whether or not this is a buy, I will definitely be using this in the future. There's a couple other things that I, I could totally use this for. It, it's, it's a great little, little piece uh, to add to the collection. But yeah, if you're doing like little small projects uh, where you just need to like break something up that's kind of thin, this is, this is awesome for that. If it's, if it's thicker or industrial strength is what you're looking for, um, you're going to want something with a little bit more weight, a little bit more um, oomph behind it. As far as the tool itself, it's very well put together. Um, I put it through its paces. Like I said, I ran it for six hours and I mean, it did everything. Um, it leaks grease out the end, but I think they're kind of supposed to. That's kind of how it keeps lubricated. Uh, the hotter it gets, the thick, thinner the grease gets. It comes with this handle, which is really nice. And then this handle is kind of flexible on here, so it doesn't like really you know hurt hurt when you're doing it there's no rigid parts so it's very well designed it feels good when you're using it um, it's got the quick disconnect for the for the tool itself um, which is really nice it comes with two tools the carrying case is awesome so yeah it's, it's definitely a great product for the price so if you're looking to get uh, at home jackhammer of your own and you're not looking to break the bank I think this is a pretty good option the link for this will be in the description below I've been getting a lot more requests to actually do review videos and so you'll probably just see those sprinkled in from here on out. If you like review videos, i got a couple other on my channels and like I said, I'll, I'll be doing some in the future so make sure to check those out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm Lane from Makers Lane. You guys have a good one. Child